Welcome to WWE 2K24 Imperialism. The way this works is simple. We have an Imperialism map with 12 WWE superstars. First, I will spin the wheel of superstars to decide who is attacking first. Then, I will spin this arrow to decide which way they will be attacking. After that, we have a matchup. Those two superstars will face off in WWE 2K24, where the loser will be giving their land to the winner. The video ends when one superstar has conquered the entire map. And we start Imperialism with the final boss, The Rock. And The Rock will be attacking Northeast, which means The Rock is going to be attacking The Undertaker. After what happened at WrestleMania 40, this will be interesting. But The Undertaker looking to pick up where he left off. He chokeslammed The Rock and he said, The Rock, you're still going down. I don't care if it's a real match or if it's a five second choke slam. You will not be beating me. And The Undertaker looks like he hasn't missed a step just yet. Undertaker picking The Rock up and slamming him to the mat. And then he's going to drop the leg. He drops the leg. Now, I do have one more surprise for this video, which I'll address after this match is over. But for now, we focus on who's going to be moving on in Imperialism. Will it be The Undertaker or will it be the final boss, The Rock, who still really hasn't landed an offensive attack on The Undertaker just yet? The Undertaker's taking The Rock to school. And just like that, the final boss has picked up momentum as he's going for the sharpshooter to make The Undertaker tap out for the chokeslam he gave him at WrestleMania 40. But The Undertaker powers out of it. But The Rock now with the finisher. Undertaker's got to be very careful. But the Phenom looking to put The Rock on his last ride. The Rock planted by The Phenom. Will it be enough here to put the final boss away? One, two, kick out at two. Undertaker looking for the Tombstone. He's got The Rock up. Tombstone pile driver. Final boss. Rest in... Peace, The Undertaker wins. And just like that, The Undertaker has claimed a second spot on the map. So now we head back to the wheel and a new match will begin with either Shawn Michaels or Stone Cold Steve Austin attacking. It'll be the Heartbreak Kid. Let's see where Shawn is headed about southeast. That means he'll run into Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I did say I had one more thing to introduce in the last match, and that is every single match will have a different stipulation in 2K24. So this next match will be a special guest referee match. And I will be refereeing this match with John Cena. And we got the 09 Shawn Michaels for this video, which means he'll descend like the WrestleMania 25 entrance. Austin is going straight for the ring. He doesn't care about who he's facing in this map. So I'm going to be an unbiased referee unless one of them hits me. If one of them hit me, even if it's on accident, we are going to be choosing a side. So let's check that pin. One, two, no way. Austin almost a three on the first move. We are going to be unbiased. Just don't hit me. Then we're going to play sides. Look at HBK though. Another pin. One, two, Oh my, Austin almost didn't get the shoulder up. But somehow Austin already has a stunner. Stunner by Austin in perfect positioning. One, two, HBK. He kicked out earlier there than just on a regular hit. I thought that one was done. Austin with the stunner. Well, Austin has another finisher. HBK has got to be careful. He also has a signature. Michaels is closing on the finisher too. So things are about to heat up in this match. What's Austin going to do? Is he going to go with Ez press? No. Drops down. Maybe the press now. Leapfrog. There it is. The Thez press from Austin. And that might get him a second finisher. Michaels is busted open. He's going for the pin. One, two, three. Doesn't even need another stunner. Stone Cold Steve Austin busts Michaels open. We count the three as an unbiased referee. And now Austin and Taker own two pieces of land. So far, the attacker has lost both matches, so you don't want to be drawn on this wheel. And the new WWE Undisputed Universal Champion, Cody Rhodes, is up next. And Cody will be headed southwest, which means Cody Rhodes takes on John Cena. And the next match is a casket match. And here is the American Nightmare, the new WWE Champion, Cody Rhodes. But Cody Rhodes got to beat a man that helped him win the title, and that is John Cena. And Cena starting already. They're on top of the casket. I didn't even know you could do that. And then slamming Cody Rhodes onto the top of the casket, and then rolling him off of it. I didn't even know you could put somebody on top of the casket in this game. I think I've only played this match type once, but that was interesting to see. And now a power bomb from Cena. 
Onto the casket as well. Onto the casket as well. And for the first time, the casket is open. And now Cena wants to put the American Nightmare into the casket. Is he going to be able to do it? Face first goes Cody. This has been all Cena so far. Cody fighting Cena. Now Cody might try to flip the script and put him in the casket. Can he do it? Cena's in the casket. Can Cody shut the door? Here we go. And no, Cena's out of that one quickly and rolls back in the ring. Cena, fisherman suplex. That is vintage John Cena. Is he going to go for an attitude adjustment? Outside the ring, he's got a finisher. Oh, no, he doesn't have a finisher. That's my mistake. Cody has a finisher. And now we're back inside the ring. Cody looking for crossroads. Crossroads connects to Cena. Can Cody put John in the casket? Can he end this one? Is that where he's taking him? Yes. Cody taking Cena towards the casket. Tossing him over, I believe. No, not yet. When is he going to toss him over and put him in? And now Cena is inside the casket. Can Cody shut the door? Where are you going? Where is Cody going? Why are you getting off the apron? You could have did it from where you were. Okay, but here we go. The casket. Will it be shut on Cena? No, Cena busts out again. Well, both men inside the ring. Will Cody finally try to win this thing? I think he's going to try to toss Cena in. Cena in the casket. If this doesn't end here, I'd be shocked. Cody trying to close the door. I think he's going to do it. Yes, he will. Cody Rhodes wins the casket match. And Cody Rhodes has claimed John Cena's land. Let's see who's attacking next. Will we have a repeat player going for their next territory or a new competitor? And it will be a new competitor, Randy Orton. And Randy Orton's headed west, which means he's taking on the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. And we start with Randy Orton making his way down the aisle. And here comes Roman Reigns, who is not happy after losing his championship at Mania. Which means Roman would be more than happy to win this imperialism video he wants to claim this entire map he wants to be acknowledged all over the wwe so even by losing your championship win this match and you will be acknowledged what was randy doing no idea what that was and i accidentally started this as a normal match so i do apologize we'll go back to all the different stipulations after this and now roman reigns has a signature closing in on the finisher but so is randy and now randy might look for his signature is he going to try for it? Looks like he is. He's going for the rope DDT. And it connects, which sets him up with a finisher. But he's going to go for the pin first. Roman's actually taking a lot of damage. I doubt he does a kick out there. But if he suffers an RKO, he might not. Let's see what happens. No RKO. Very surprising. Andy to the middle rope. He's going to go for the pin. No. Here we go. He is looking for the RKO. Randy Orton to Roman Reigns. One, two. Roman just got the shoulder up and kicked out. Spear. Spear by Roman. Can he win it? I messed up the camera angle somehow. But a two count and a kick out by two by Randy Orton. I'm not sure what I did to the camera here. But Reigns with the spear. I'm in like free camera. No idea what I did. Roman busted Randy Orton open right there. Now he's bleeding. This match is picking up. One kick out by Reigns on the RKO. One kick out by Orton on the spear. Right now, it could be anybody's matchup. Could Roman come back in this one? Is he going to go for it here? Roman Reigns? What is he doing? Superman punch connects. Down goes Orton. Will it be enough? One, two. Randy kicks out. This is the best match I think so far. Maybe besides that casket match. Roman Reigns. Is he going to go for the spear? Spear! Down goes Orin, the tribal chief. One, two, three. Roman Reigns, what a comeback, gets the win. And now Roman Reigns has two pieces of land on the map. Let's see who's attacking next. For the first time, it'll be Seth freaking Rollins. And Seth freaking Rollins will be headed west. And that'll lead Seth Rollins into a matchup with the game. We're going to come back to the ambulance match down the road. We'll go to an extreme rules match for now. This is a good match. We have not had a superstar fight more than once so far in Imperialism. So it looks like everybody's going to own about two pieces of land before anybody else has to attack. Off the top of my head, I believe... After this match, we will only need to see Bret Hart and Hulk Hogan fight for the first time. Everybody else will have fought twice. 
if they're chosen again. And both of these guys just pulled out sledgehammers. But you can't mess with Triple H, Seth Rollins. Not with the sledgehammer. Triple H is the king of the sledgehammer in the WWE. Here comes Seth, though, flying in with the knee to the face of the game and busting Triple H wide open. And then Seth working on the upper torso area of the game, looking for a chop miss wildly. Triple H, where is he taking Rollins? What does he have in store for him? Are we going with the knee to the face? This is vintage Triple H. If he does it, no, he's following up. Rollins, clothesline inside out. Goes the architect, goes the visionary. And now this match is going to spill to the outside. Is Triple H going to bring that sledgehammer? And he's going to get it taken away from him by Seth Rollins. And now Seth with the sledgehammer to the midsection of the game twice. Triple H back into the ropes goes Rollins. No vintage knee from the game. There's a counter by Rollins. I think Triple H was looking for the spine buster. But instead he might suffer his own move. The pedigree to Triple H. And down goes the game. And Seth Rollins trying to get a three on Triple H with his own move. Two. Kick out at two. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a burning table. There is a burning table in this match. I haven't seen that yet in this game. I saw it in 2K23, I believe, but I did not see it in 2K24. The CPU are getting crazy. Is someone going through that table? That table might not be used, though. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be used. Seth Rollins might try to end this match right now. He's got a finisher. Both men have taken damage. If Seth Rollins could hit a stop, this match would be over. He's got two finishers. There's a drop kick. Is he going to go for the stomp? Why would he waste any more time? Can he go for it here? Knee to the face of the game. Go for the stomp, Rollins. What are you waiting for here? Kicking Triple H in the face. Go for the stomp. Put this match away. This is imperialism, man. Claim your land. And the stomp almost on the steel chair. I think actually connected on the steel chair. That's got to be it. One, two, three. Seth freaking Rollins wins it. And Seth freaking Rollins has claimed Triple H's land. And now we head back to the Wheel of Superstars to spin and find our next attacker. And for the first time, we see a wrestler fight twice. It's The Undertaker. And The Undertaker will be headed northeast. Which means we have a Bret Hart Undertaker matchup. And this match will take place in a backstage brawl. This match has no entrances, no ring. Last man standing essentially is going to win. The only way to win is by knocking your opponent out. No pinfalls, no submissions. So Bret Hart versus The Undertaker. And Undertaker is towering over Bret Hart here. I didn't realize there was such a size difference between Bret Hart and The Undertaker. I knew Undertaker is about seven feet tall, but... Feels like Brett is less than six feet tall for some odd reason, but I don't think that's the case. I could be wrong though. Bret Hart with the shovel, delivering shovel shots to The Undertaker. The shovel always makes an appearance here in these backstage brawls. But Undertaker with the tornado clothesline right there. But Bret Hart with the counter. Brett's starting off pretty well. Is he going for a pile driver? This could knock The Undertaker out right here. Pile driver on the cement of the parking lot or wherever we are in this video here for this match. Undertaker after the pile driver though gonna get back to his feet and Brett's got to be careful because somehow Undertaker even though he's been getting dominated has a finisher and a signature and if you're enjoying the video do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel Undertaker now best pure striker in WWE history shout out to Michael Cole but here we go forget about the strikes how about the choke slam and the Undertaker wins he was getting dominated and one choke slam was all it took to knock out Bret Hart. And The Undertaker has the entire bottom right of this map. Back to the Wheel of Superstars here. Only six superstars remain, and for the first time, we will see Hulk Hogan. And the only way for the Hulkster to go is into Cody Rhodes territory. And Cody versus Hulk Hogan will take place in a ladder match. So now that we've seen Hulk Hogan in this video, we have officially seen every superstar in Imperialism at least take place in one match. There's a ladder shot by the Hulkster. The ring is open right now. Cody's got to get in there. He doesn't want to lose his championship that he won at WrestleMania 40 already. Hogan, another ladder shot. And now Hogan planting the ladder middle of the ring. Is he going to try to climb up and grab the WWE championship? But Cody, not if he has anything to say about it. The Hulkster. He's outside the ring on the apron. Cody going to climb the ladder. He's going to try to get the championship. Can he get it? Hogan, is he going to climb the ladder? Yes, he is. 
And now we got right hands from both guys. Cody Rhodes knocks Hogan off the ladder. The American Nightmare now going to try to get his championship. You got to get it done five times to retrieve the championship. But the ladder pushed out from under Cody Rhodes. And the power bomb on the ladder. But once again, we got both men on top of the ladder. Hogan's down again. Cody Rhodes, top of the ladder. But Hogan's right back up. He grabs it for the second time. Need three more times to get that championship down. Cody Rhodes. Hogan better stop climbing this ladder because Cody Rhodes is destroying him at the top of the ladder. What are we going to see here? Cody countered by Hogan. I thought we were going to get a suplex off the ladder. Maybe we are still going to see that. Hogan dropping Cody Rhodes off the ladder. And now it is clear for Hulk Hogan. Is he going to jump? Or is he going to go? He's jumping the elbow drop. Well, Cody wasted his chance by not going for the championship after taking Hogan off the ladder. There is a leg drop from Hogan. Will he climb the ladder with Rhodes down? Looks like he's gonna, he's not gonna waste any time. Hogan trying to climb the ladder, trying to become a WWE champion once again. And more importantly, claim Cody Rhodes land. Hogan needs to do it two more times. Needs to do it one more time. Is Hulk Hogan going to be WWE Champion? Yes, he is. Hulk Hogan wins the championship and claims Cody's land. Five superstars remain on the map. And next up, it's going to be The Undertaker. And The Undertaker will be headed northeast. Which means it's Phenom versus Hogan for the right side of the map. And these men will be fighting in an ambulance match. Hogan's got the baseball bat. Undertaker opening up the ambulance doors from behind is the first baseball bat shot from Hogan. There's another and another. Hogan still has three finishers. Undertaker with the counter and the right hand and then maybe a tombstone pile driver. And here it is. Tombstone pile driver to Hogan. And now Undertaker tossing Hogan in after a tombstone pile driver. It could be over for Hulkamania. And now they're battling. They're battling again. Could Taker shut the first door? He gets it shut. First door shut. Will he shut the second on Hulkamania? Will Undertaker be the WWE Champion and the winner of the ambulance match? He doesn't shut the door. I thought he had it too. Undertaker signals it's over. The straps are down. If he hits another tombstone pile driver, it's going to be tough for Hulk Hogan to get out of the ambulance again. No counter. Tombstone pile driver. First door shut again. Undertaker, I think it should be easy this time. Hogan secured in the ambulance, and The Undertaker is the new WWE Champion. The Undertaker, the new WWE Champion, and the owner of the most land in WWE imperialism. The Undertaker by far owns the most territory now. Who is up next? It is Roman Reigns. And Roman is heading east which means he'll take on the phenom if roman reigns wins this match he will once again be wwe undisputed universal champion but he's gotta go through the phenom i did forget to mention this is a tables match the first man to go through a table is gonna lose now both of these men's finishers would not put the other one through a table a tombstone pile driver or a spear actually didn't realize you could spear them through the table in the turnbuckle so you can do that in the corner undertaker does have the chokeslam signature though so we do have moves that can put their opponent through the table. I wonder when the first table is going to get introduced. And with only four superstars left, I want to know in the comments down below who's winning Imperialism. First signature is almost there for The Undertaker. He has it. So if he puts Roman Reigns through with a choke slam, Undertaker is going to win this match, retain his title, and get Roman Reigns pieces on the map. But Roman trying to get that table. Now in the corner, Undertaker. Big move in the corner. Is it going to be Snake Eyes? There it is. Undertaker looking for Snake Eyes with the big boot. Roman has Undertaker in the corner with the table. Will he put him through? He's not going to go spear, but he puts the Undertaker through the table. And Roman Reigns is once again your WWE champion and has the most spots on the Imperialism map. The Tribal Chief has the biggest spot on the map. Well, there's only two matches left to find out who wins WWE Imperialism. And now it's up to Seth Rollins. If he goes north, he gets Stone Cold. Anywhere else, he gets Roman Reigns. And I believe he's going to get Stone Cold. Going northeast, Rollins will get Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, the Rattlesnake claims 
Seth Rollins land? Or will it be the former World Heavyweight Champion Seth Freakin' Rollins claiming some land to face Roman Reigns? Either way, we're getting a great final matchup. Whoever wins this match and Roman Reigns. So, will it be Austin Reigns in a dream match? Or will it be Rollins Reigns in a match we've seen before? But a match I definitely want to see again with stakes like this to win Imperialism. But right now, the Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin, he's going for a pin inside the cage. You can win by pinfall or submission or by escaping the cage. Now, Seth, kick to the midsection. Rollins, pedigree to Stone Cold Steve Austin to go in the finals of Imperialism. Kick out at one. Austin slammed into the steel cage. And now Rollins may be trying to capitalize with a stomp. Is he going to go for the stomp? Yes, he is. Rollins. The stomp to Stone Cold Steve Austin, and now he'll go for the pin. Ref, one. Kick out at one. Why do they take so long? Austin, stunner. Stunner to Seth freaking Rollins. Will it be the three? And to the finals of Imperialism, two. Kick out at two by Rollins. Whoever hits the next finisher is going to win. Whoever hits the next finisher is going to win. I saw Austin going for the stunner there. That was countered by Rollins. Rollins plants Austin. Will he go for the stomp and the win? Flips Austin over. Here we go. The stomp connects. This is over. Rollins for the win. Counted ref. One. Two. Kick out. Well, now Austin's planted set. I thought he was going to climb out. Why wouldn't he? Rollins is down. Okay, here we go for the win. If he hits this, it's over. Stunner! Stunner by Austin. Rollins, Austin, what a match. But the one, two, three. Stone Cold wins it. And now two pieces of land remain. And this final match will be a last man standing. The Rattlesnake first making his way to the ring for the finals of Imperialism. Roman Reigns once again has the WWE Championship around his waist. Multiple things on the line here. The WWE Championship and the winner of Imperialism. And for this last man standing match, I gave each man three finishers. So you saw Roman Reigns out of the gate going for a spear. Now Austin, stunner, stunner by Austin. The ref will count. Will Roman answer the count to 10? Austin strikes first with the Stone Cold Stunner. And I don't think that one stunner is going to put Roman down. There's just no way Roman Reigns getting back to his feet. But as he tries to do that, stunner, stunner again by Austin. There's two stunners to the tribal chief. And will Roman answer the count of 10 on this one? The count's at 7. Roman's down, count's at 8. If he hits another one, it might be over. If he hits one more stunner, Roman might not be able to get up. We will see. Austin lining Roman Reigns up for a third stunner. Stunner! Stunner again! Will Roman beat the count? The count at seven. The count at eight. Nine! Roman barely breaks the count at nine. I thought he was done. Austin just trying desperately to put Roman away at this point. I can't believe four stunners didn't do it. And Roman's busted open. He has taken an absolute beating. Roman Reigns has been out of this match since the beginning, pretty much. Can Austin put him away with that? The five count. Let's watch the entire thing. The six count. Is a suplex really going to put him away? A seven count. An eight. No, Roman once again answers the ten. Spear! Finally, Roman Reigns answers with the finisher and the first count to Stone Cold Steve Austin. But Roman Reigns is not done there. He's got himself another spear. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to counter it, but it's back-to-back -back spears. Austin has no idea what to do anymore, so he's going for a superplex. If this doesn't put Roman away, I don't know what will. Stone Cold Steve Austin, five stunners, a superplex. Do not hit him, Austin. Why are you hitting him, Austin? Is he trying to get a six stunner? What are we doing here? Roman counts at eight. Counts at nine. This one's finally over. Stone Cold Steve Austin wins the last man standing match. Which means Austin is once again a WWE champion in the Austin era has once again begun. And the man who claimed the entire map, Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.